Have you ever stumbled upon Susan Plachette's work unexpectedly? It might have been in a movie or on TV. She made a big impact in the entertainment world. We're excited to hear about your favorite memories or experiences with this legendary star. Share your stories below. Stick around for some interesting, funny, and heartwarming facts about her. Keep watching for more. A prominent figure in the world of acting during the mid-20th century, this individual left a lasting impression through their talent and charisma. Born in 1937, their career spanned both film and television, showcasing their versatility across various roles. Their most notable role was as a witty and independent character on a popular TV show in the 1970s. This portrayal broke norms and became a significant moment in television history. Beyond their on-screen success, this person was also an advocate for women's rights and social issues. Their commitment to using their platform for positive change was commendable, especially during a time when such activism was less common in Hollywood. Their impact on the entertainment industry and their advocacy work cemented their status as a trailblazer, inspiring future generations. Their legacy extends beyond the characters they portrayed, leaving behind a significant influence that is still felt today. Throughout her career, she had opportunities for different acting roles, but didn't always get them. For instance, she didn't take on the part of Lil Mainwaring and Marnie, which Deane Baker ended up playing. She also didn't get the role of Jennifer Hart in Heart to Heart, which went to Stephanie Powers instead. Despite these misses, she kept working hard and acting. Besides acting, she also designed linens for J.P. Stevens & Co. from 1969 to 1980. She was creative in more than just acting, showing her skills in various areas. This shows she wasn't just an actress, but also someone with creative talents in different fields. Her work had an effect on many people and industries, leaving a lasting impression. She's remembered as someone who made a big difference in entertainment, showing how versatile and dedicated she was. Suzanne Plachette made a big impact that's still felt today, even beyond her roles on screen. In Support Your Local Gunfighter, she portrayed Patience. Later, she guest starred with James Garner on Eight Simple Rules After John Ritter's Death. Garner joined the cast until the show ended in 2005. In The Bob Newhart Show, she played Emily Hartley. Her voice, once alto, deepened over time due to stage screaming and smoking. She received a posthumous star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2008, attended by Dick Van, Bob Newhart, Marsha Wallace, Nancy Sinatra, and Tina Sinatra, who accepted the honor. In a serene resting place in Los Angeles, California, lies an iconic figure of television history. She rests peacefully between her two late spouses, surrounded by memories of her remarkable career. Throughout the beloved television series, she portrayed a character named Emily Hartley. Alongside her co-stars, she holds the unique distinction of appearing in every single episode of the show, a testament to her dedication and talent. Born to a dancer and an esteemed theater manager in Brooklyn, she grew up as an only child. Despite her upbringing, she forged a path in the entertainment industry that would leave a lasting impact. Her legacy lives on through her unforgettable performances and the hearts of those who continue to cherish her work. Back in 1980, she gave a touching speech at David Jansen's funeral. After that, she was almost picked to be Catwoman and Batman, but it didn't work out, and Julie Newmar got the part instead. Later on, she starred as Emily Hartley in The Bob Newhart Show. Her chemistry with Bob Newhart on the show was so good because they met by chance on The Tonight Show. People loved her as Emily Hartley, and critics praised her acting. Even though she didn't get to be Catwoman, she showed she could play many roles well. She kept acting in movies and TV, becoming really popular. Fans all over the world still love her for it. This tribute is to honor her great career and how she left her mark on entertainment. Did you know that there's an interesting story behind a famous actor's role in a well-known movie? Back when the Jaysha boy was being cast, one of the actors, who later played Sergeant Pearson, surprised Jerry Lewis. Lewis, who had once worked as an usher, couldn't believe it, and called her father, Jean Plachette. She had a smoking habit, going through two packs of Paul Mall cigarettes daily for about 40 years until a health scare in 1998 made her quit. During a TV appearance in 1962, she shared a story about refusing a role in a movie called Palm Springs Weekend, worried it might hurt her career. Despite being under contract with Warner Brothers at the time, she stood her ground and the role went to someone else. This incident actually led to her being cast in Wall of Noise instead. So, it goes to show, sometimes sticking to your guns pays off in unexpected ways. In the realm of classic films and TV shows, there are often hidden connections that add depth to the stories we love. 
One fascinating example can be found in the iconic Alfred Hitchcock movie from the 1960s. In this film, two actresses, Suzanne Plachette and Veronica Cartwright, shared the screen as mothers of different characters. It's interesting to note that their collaboration extended beyond this film to later appearances on a popular TV show. One of the actresses, Suzanne Plachette, played a character named Annie Hayworth in the film. What's intriguing is that her character intersected with another character who had spent time in Rome the previous summer. Even more coincidental is the fact that Suzanne Plachette herself had filmed a movie in Rome around the same time as the events in the film, adding an extra layer of connection to her role. In the final version of the screenplay, the ages of the characters are specified, with one character described as being in her mid-twenties and the other as 32. Strangely enough, during the filming of the movie, the actress portraying the younger character was actually 32, while the actress playing the older character was 25. These details provide insight into the subtle nuances and ironies within the production of the film, enhancing the performances and relationships between the characters. In a classic film known for its suspense and symbolism, the director cleverly used colors to convey deeper meanings. These colors, like pale green and reddish orange, popped up in various scenes, subtly hinting at themes of love and danger. One notable instance was the appearance of these hues in the wardrobe and surroundings of the characters, adding layers to their interactions and the overall atmosphere of the story. Moreover, this color theme sparked inspiration for a script penned by an actor and screenwriter influenced by a fortuitous encounter with one of the film's stars. The script, conceived in 2023, paid homage to the original film's use of color symbolism, weaving it into a new narrative that captivated audiences with its nods to the past while forging its own path. She made history on TV by being the first woman to guest host a famous show without singing or doing comedy. Later, she announced she was getting married to Tom Poston in December 2000. They both appeared in different versions of Bob Newhart shows. Tom Poston, her future husband, met her when they acted together in a Broadway play called The Golden Fleecing in 1959. Even though they met long ago, they didn't get married until more than 40 years later. They had a strong relationship, working together professionally and reaching important moments in their personal lives, like appearing together in the finale of a popular sitcom from the 1980s. Their story shows how love can last a long time and how people in the entertainment world can have both personal and professional connections. In the world of entertainment, some stars make choices that shape their careers in unexpected ways. One such example is an actress who transitioned from the big screen to television, leaving a lasting mark in both realms. The journey of this actress reflects the highs and lows of pursuing a passion in showbiz. In a memorable movie, she and her co-star shared undeniable chemistry, bringing depth to their characters and leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. Their performances, including some memorable smoking scenes, added layers to the story and showcased their versatility as actors. However, while one of them chose to break free from the habit, the other continued to smoke for decades, which unfortunately led to an early demise. The contrast in their choices highlights the importance of making healthy decisions both on and off the screen. As one actress approaches her mid-90s, she serves as a living example of the benefits of quitting smoking. Her story reminds us of the fragility of life and the importance of cherishing every moment. In the end, the actress's impact lives on through her memorable roles and her influence on the entertainment industry. Despite battling lung cancer, she underwent chemotherapy at a hospital in Los Angeles in August 2006. Despite her illness, she didn't let it define her. She kept acting with a lot of determination. She didn't just act. She tried out for important roles in movies like The Thomas Crown Affair and The Detective. She was good at playing different kinds of characters, each with their own special traits and difficulties. She wasn't afraid of challenges, which made her stand out in Hollywood. She also became the stepmother of two children. She was very loving and caring towards them, making sure they felt like a part of her family. She was loving to everyone she knew, not just her family. Her life and career were full of ups and downs, but she always stayed true to her acting and her loved ones. She'll be remembered for the roles she played and the impact she had on people's lives. Suzanne Plachette's strong spirit and the stories she left behind continue to inspire actors and artists today. In the world of entertainment, there are stars whose journeys leave a lasting impression. Think about the actors and actresses whose performances touch our hearts and shape how we see the world on the big screen. Today, I want to share the story of someone whose work spans many years and continues to inspire new talents even now. Imagine growing up with friends who share your dreams. 
That was the case for Faye Michael Newell and Carla Champion. They had a friend who started her career in movies, playing Sergeant Pearson in a film called The Jaysha Boy. Later on, she took on the role of Annie Hayworth in The Birds, a movie that left a mark on many. You might have seen her on TV too. She appeared on episodes of a popular show called Will and Grace, playing the mom of a character named Karen, and also another character's mother named Jack. This person's journey through film and television wasn't just about acting. It was about connecting with audiences, making them feel something real. Her performances showed depth and subtlety, capturing people's attention wherever they went. Even though she's no longer with us, her work lives on, inspiring new generations of actors and actresses. It's like she carved her name into the history of entertainment, leaving a story that continues to resonate with people today. So, the next time you watch a movie or a TV show and feel a connection to the characters, remember the people behind those performances. They're the ones who shape the world of entertainment and leave an impression that lasts for years to come. And this story, well, it's just a glimpse into the incredible journey of someone who made a difference in the world of film and television. Ever heard of a game of musical chairs in Hollywood? Sometimes actors switch rules like it's nobody's business. Take for example, a certain actress who stepped into not one, but two roles originally meant for someone else. She wasn't just any actress, mind you. She had quite the knack for capturing the hearts of audiences. In one flick, she took over the lead role when another actress had to step aside. And it wasn't just a one-time deal. Nope, she did it again in another film. But despite her knack for stepping in, she decided to pass on a couple of big roles in some well-known TV shows. In a different movie, she starred alongside some big names and even sang a tune that has some serious naval history behind it. You can catch her belting out Heart of Oak during a scene that leads up to a showdown. Talk about her versatile talent, right? Even though she turned down those TV gigs, she certainly left her mark on the big screen. It just goes to show, you never know what twists and turns Hollywood might throw your way. In the world of movies, a talented actress made her mark in several memorable roles. One of her notable performances was in a film where she played Annie Hayworth. Her connection to the industry runs deep, collaborating with other actors in different movies. For instance, she worked with an actor who starred in Alien and another actress known for her role in Working Girl. This actress started her career in theater before moving to movies, showing her ability to adapt to different types of performances. In a particular film called Nevada Smith, this actress played the role of Pillar. Interestingly, her character's appearance in the movie is delayed, which adds a layer of anticipation for the audience. This actress's journey from theater to the big screen and her portrayal of characters like Annie Hayworth and Pillar show her influence on the movie industry. Her collaborations with other actors highlight how talents come together to create memorable moments for viewers. In a fascinating episode of Hollywood history, a well-known actress found herself entangled in a whirlwind romance with a charismatic co-star during the filming of a popular TV show. Amidst personal struggles and marital challenges, she and her co-star were drawn together in a passionate affair that lasted for three months. Despite the intense emotions and complexities of their relationship, she ultimately made the difficult decision to end the affair, demonstrating her strength and commitment to her personal values. Looking back, this brief but poignant romance remains a significant chapter in the actress's life story, adding depth to her legacy in the entertainment industry. Her ability to navigate the complexities of love and loss with grace and resolve is remembered fondly, showcasing her as a woman of depth and character. In The Birds, she played Annie Hayworth. It's eerie how some astrological connections line up among the cast. Tippi Hedren shares a birthday with her, while Suzanne's father shares a birthday with Rod Taylor, who died on the same day as her father. The coincidence extends further as Suzanne's father and Jessica Tandy passed away on the same date. This film marks the second of three collaborations between her and Rod Taylor. Prior to The Birds, they portrayed love interests in an episode of Hong Kong and later appeared together in Fate is the Hunter. She and Anne Bancroft attempted to conceive around the same time. While Anne welcomed Max Brooks, Suzanne, despite being younger, faced difficulties carrying a pregnancy to term. Born to parents who quickly tied the knot after meeting, her early life was influenced by their swift marriage. However, it was her collaborations on screen that later caught people's attention. In one movie, she played a character named Pillar opposite a well-known actor. Despite their chemistry on screen, their love scenes were awkward. This was because they were good friends off screen, and the actor saw her as a sister figure since she arrived in Hollywood. Behind the scenes, things can be different from what we see in movies. 
In this case, their friendship made the love scenes more complicated and added depth to their performances, showing the complexities of relationships both on and off set. In an unexpected twist, a much-loved actress passed away in 2008 because of breathing problems. Her sudden loss left a big hole in the world of entertainment, surprising fans and fellow actors alike. Even though it was sad, people all over the world still celebrate her work. She had a special talent that connected with people of all ages, leaving a lasting impression on the industry. Her performances really grabbed people's attention, pulling them into the stories she acted out on screen. Her influence on movies and TV is still really important, with people still enjoying her work. From famous roles in well-known movies to memorable appearances on TV shows, she showed she could do a lot of different things as an actress. Her passing was a real loss for many, not just because of her acting, but also because she was genuinely kind behind the scenes. Even years after she passed away, people still think of her fondly because of the impact she had. She'll always be remembered through the character she played and the way she changed the entertainment world. Though she's not here anymore, her spirit lives on through the hearts she touched with her talent and kindness. In the world of fame and showbiz, there's often more than meets the eye. Behind the glittery exterior lies real-life struggles that many face, regardless of their status. One such example is Suzanne Plachette, a well-known actress whose personal life was marked by heartbreak and betrayal despite her public success. In the midst of her career's highs, Suzanne encountered deep pain when she discovered her husband's infidelity after his sudden passing. This revelation shook her world, challenging the image of marital happiness she had projected. It's a stark reminder that fame doesn't shield one from life's hardships. Suzanne's story sheds light on the universal experiences of love, trust, and resilience. Despite the applause and recognition she received professionally, her personal life was a reminder of the fragility of relationships and the strength needed to overcome betrayal. In the end, Suzanne's journey serves as a reminder that no amount of fame or fortune can protect against life's challenges. Her story lives on as a testament to the human spirit's ability to persevere in the face of adversity.